We all seek purpose and meaning for our lives. And at some point, most people ask the question, why am I here? But I found myself asking a different question. I asked, why am I still here? And this was a question that came to me after I just survived a near-death accident where I was trapped underwater, wedged between two rocks, moments away from death. At the time, I was running a successful seven-figure chiropractic business, and I was living what most would call the American dream. Business was good, marriage was good, life was good. Until August 2018, when I decided to go whitewater rafting. And that was a day that changed my life forever. It was a beautiful day for rafting, and there was a group of us in the raft, and I was in, sitting in the back of the raft. In the first half of the trip, everything was nice and easy until we reached the Class 5 rapids. And as soon as we dropped into the Class 5 rapids, the raft began to tip over. And it was like it was in slow motion. I was thrown off the back of the raft, and I was trapped underneath the raging water, and it kept pushing me down. And I still remember the sound of my helmet scraping down the rocks as I was getting pushed further underwater. And then, all of a sudden, everything went black. And then everything went bright white. And it was the most peaceful, serene feeling I'd ever felt in my life. And then I lost consciousness. And all of a sudden, something inside said to me, wake up. And thankfully it did, because when I came back to consciousness, I was trapped underwater, wedged between two rocks. And I tried to push, and I didn't budge. And I pushed, and I pushed, and I pushed, trying to free myself, but nothing happened. And then the panic set in. And then thankfully my adrenaline kicked in, and I was able to push hard enough that I broke one of the buckles on my life jacket that was trapped underneath the rocks. I floated to the top just in time to gasp for breath, and then I was swept down the river. When I finally made it to the side of the river, I was rocked. I was wondering what just happened. And what I realized is that wasn't just a wake-up call for that moment. That was a wake-up call for my life. Because I knew I was living my purpose, but what I realized from that moment is I was playing way too small. I knew I was called for more, but I had settled. I had gotten comfortable. And I knew if I really wanted to step into the calling that was on my life, I needed to exchange my comfort for my calling. And I started thinking about people around me. And I realized that message wasn't just for me. There were so many others that had settled. So that's when I made a shift. I walked away from running our chiropractic business and became a speaker and a high performance coach full time because I wanted to help people experience more in life. More time, more money, more freedom, more energy. Whatever more is for you, it's available on the other side of your comfort zone. So I'm going to show you a framework that will actually help you step out of your comfort zone so you can experience more in life. Now, most people don't even realize when they, they're in a comfort zone. I didn't. It took a near-death accident for me to help me wake up to the fact that I was in my own comfort zone. So my challenge to you is I want you to look at your life. Where have you settled? Where have you gotten comfortable? In order to experience more in life, you have to step out of your comfort zone. Your comfort is keeping you from your destiny. But stepping out of your comfort zone isn't easy. Because once you step out of your comfort zone, you step into the fear zone. And that's when the fear, the worry, the anxiety, the doubt shows up. You start hearing those voices in your mind saying, you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not worthy enough. We start to make up all these stories. The problem is we start to believe those stories. And we let those stories stop us. But when you face the fear, anybody ever had the situation, there's something coming up, and we start to think about all the ways this could go wrong. And we start to worry about it. We get anxious about that situation because we think about how bad it's gonna go. We've all done that. Now, Mark Twain has a quote, I've had a lot of worries in my life, most of which never happened. Has anybody noticed that in your life? You worry about things that have never happened? Yes. Yeah, it happens all the time. 
So what, stepping out of your comfort zone, it's uncomfortable because you're stepping into unfamiliar territory. But what a lot of people do is they feel uncomfortable and they think, you know what, it shouldn't feel like this. Maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I should just go back into my comfort zone. But instead of feeling that fear and shrinking back to your comfort zone, you have to feel that fear and overcome it. Joseph Campbell said, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. So stop letting your fear keep you from your treasure. You have to fear, feel that fear and overcome it because then that's when you can move from the fear zone into the growth zone. And the growth zone is where the work starts. And it's like working out. If you want to grow a muscle, you've got to, you've got to lift some weights because muscles need resistance to grow. And the more the muscle grows, the stronger it gets. And the stronger it gets, the more weight it can handle. Well, the same goes for you. The more resistance you face, the more you grow. And the more you grow, the stronger you get. The stronger you get, the more resistance you can handle. Because if you want more, you have to become more. And the growth zone is a place where you become more. And once you become more, then you can actually transition into the flow zone. And the flow zone is where things that used to feel like resistance are now light and easy. Things begin to flow in your life. Opportunities flow to you. Ideas flow through you. And you begin to live in this state of flow. And once you can sustain this level of flow, then you can transition into the impact zone. In the impact zone, that's where things are no longer about you. It's not about what you can accomplish, or the money you can make, or the success you can achieve. This is where you start to focus on the impact you can make, the lives you can touch, or the legacy that you can leave. Now, there's resistance at each level, and the further you get away from your comfort zone, the stronger the resistance becomes. But there's a driving force that can pull you out of your comfort zone, and that driving force is your calling. And your calling is a mixture of your mission, your vision, and your purpose. The bigger your mission, your vision, and your purpose are, the stronger your calling is. And the stronger your calling is, the stronger that driving force will take you out of your comfort zone into a life of flow and impact. Now, as I was sitting on the side of that river, still shaken about what had just happened, I started to ask myself, is this how I want my story to end? If it all would have ended in that moment, is this the legacy I want to leave? And the answer was no. I knew I was called for more, to help more people, to make a bigger impact. I knew there was a calling on my life I needed to step into. So my question for you, well, the question I asked myself was why are you still here? Because things could have been different in that moment. What if I would have never heard that sound that said, wake up? What if I would have been strong enough to break free? I knew I was here for a purpose. My question for you is, why are you still here? Life is a gift. It's not guaranteed. You didn't have to wake up today but you did. That means you're here for a purpose. You don't need a near-death accident or a rock-bottom moment in order to change. It's time to change now. Don't wait for your wake-up call moment. This is your wake-up call. It's time to stop settling, to stop living in your comfort zone. There's more for you to experience in life, and it's waiting just outside your comfort zone. It's time to exchange your comfort for your calling. I'm Dr. Justin Mosley. You've been amazing. Woo!